Ice action for largemouth bass varies drastically across the ice belt. In the far north, the fish are most active at first and last ice. But across the southern edge of the ice belt, the fish remain active all winter and are a standard target for anglers. We fish for them in pits and ponds, in reservoirs, river backwaters, and in this case, a small, shallow Iowa lake recently renovated and reclaimed. There we are. Ha! Good job. I love catching them. Hey, man, nice fish. Hey, we're with guy Kevin Paul, works out of Clear Lake, Iowa, works the Okabojis and all the little surrounding lakes. And indeed, today what we've got is a, a reclaimed lake that you uh, are fishing. And by reclaimed, uh, the DNR probably came in with retinone, killed this lake off, dredged it out, uh, just totally reclaimed it, stocked fish like these largemouth bass. We're probably in the third or fourth year after reclamation. Yeah, I think we're just after the fourth year, yep. Beautiful fish. Nice, stocky guy. Now, when you're talking tactics for tough times, I like to look at it at least two ways. And one of the things that we've just talked about, uh, reclamation lakes and that kind of thing, one thing you always want to be doing during tough times is you want to be on a, a lake with a lot of fish. So you've got that in this case here. So you're always keeping track of which lakes are up, which lakes are down. Sometimes a lake gets fished real heavy. Three years go by, nobody's fishing it. You can sneak into a lake like that. So that's one tactic for tough time. The other tactic for tough times is what we're doing right here. We're searching to begin with. If we get Get on some fish, we might uh, actually slow down, use jigging, and then also go to some dead stick rods. Yeah, you know, definitely when you're fishing a new body of water like this, you always want to make sure you can cover a lot of water and, and use appropriate tactics, like you said, the jigging wrap and stuff, it's a heavier bait, you can get down there and you can keep getting from hole to hole and not waste too much time in one spot. And I've got bass on jigging wraps all across the country, ponds, lakes, reservoirs, even backwaters and rivers, so it's a great proven bait. Here we're marking one down there. It's dropping on him. There we go. Fish? Fish on, yeah. Good job. Nice thing with fishing these jigging rafts too. You just never know what you're gonna get. There's always a lot of panfish in these reclaimed lakes, so definitely get crappies, bluegills, maybe even a walleye if you're lucky. So oh, there we go. And a boy, Kevin. Nice fish. Doug just caught one and as you can see these. Once I think we get on them here, we're going to start catching more and more fish and throughout the day hopefully we can show you guys just how effective this pattern can be. Shining off the sun like that, gorgeous fish. See you later, buddy. I got one too, Kev. All right. Right next to the thin ice sign here. Let me tell you, there's no thin ice here. <laughs> no, it's probably still sitting on my 14. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, but on these reclaimed lakes, what you do have is they've got an aeration system here to keep these fish from freezing out. Not bad, oh, no, he's not bad. There you go. You got him? Yep. Good job. So, got a little tangled up. Anyway, well, that's one way to get the jigging wrap out. <laughs> Let's see that fish there you once. Go. Nice stocky fish. That another bottom. couple of years, you'll probably get another pound on these fish. But, yep. there's, but there's so many of them in here probably that they're not going to grow gigantic, I suppose. Well, this lake, uh, before they did the project, we had some big, big fish in here. Okay. I think I think that within a few years, we're going to notice some nice fish and even probably some trophic quality fish here in the next five years. Well, and there's, but there's probably good reason to harvest a few of these too, so but we're not going to do that today, but I can see I love to eat bass there. So what I would suggest, we'll put this one back here, we'll set out some dead sticks to go along with the jigging and show how that's done too. i got to get myself a minnow here first. So with the minnow, I'm going to anchor that minnow with a custom jigs and spin demon jig, but it could be just a plain lead head jig off and use. And when you hook up, instead of going under the dorsal fin, you want to go just along it, just underneath the skin, like that. So this minnow is going to swim forward, and then that jig head is going to anchor that minnow. Just open the bale. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, then come up about a foot and a half to two feet. Large mouths tend to like that quite a bit, so about right there. Then the line itself, right out of the reel, goes down into this clip right here. That clip goes down, the flag goes under this arm, and when the fish bites, it pulls the clip up, the flag trips, and you know that you've got a bite. This is a system I've used for a lot of different things, for walleyes, Catfish, it's great. Uh, we use it for crappies a lot of times. So it's a good system when you're 
uh, in a tough situation and you want to be jigging in an area at the same time you're presenting some live bait on an anchored rig like I just showed you right there. Feels good. Coming up fast now. Yeah. Any bass or anything? Here he is. Bass? That's a bass, yeah. yeah. Not bad. Uh, open up, buddy. Oh, there we go. Good job, thank you. No problem. Get the demon on there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Not a giant, but not bad, by golly. You know, sometimes when conditions are tough, first of all, you know, we talked about doing your homework. You want to be on a numbers lake instead of a, a big fish lake. In the big fish game, that's a di totally different story. So we've got a numbers lake here. You do your homework, you get on the right lakes, and then, of course, the next step is to try both of these systems, you know, once you locate the fish, definitely don't be afraid to try some of these other techniques like what we did today, dead sticking. I think uh, it definitely yeah. pays off. As the day went on, the jigging bite slowed and the dead stick, while it wasn't fast, we at least got some fish. Great deal in the water. Thank you very much. Hey. I love to come to Iowa and fish. I tell hey, you that thank right you. Now.